Right now, we have an alert from the uh, Connecticut environmental officials all throughout the state. They want you to watch out for an invasive crab. It looks pretty nasty right there behind us, <laughs> it really and it's does. potentially disruptive to river uh, riverbanks. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Kevin Hogan is joining us live from the DWP Marine Headquarters in Old Lyme with how to spot this crustacean. Kevin. Well, Aaron and Mark, I'm told that this looks like a giant spider. It's greenish brown in color, and it has uh, white tips right on its claws, and those claws are hairy. The carapace is about three inches wide, and across the feet, uh, across the legs, it's closer to eight or nine inches. Marine biologist Dick Harris found 13 of these odd looking crabs this spring. That's up from four last year, as he checked seven harbors between Fairfield and New Haven counties. The most recent discovery was made in the Housatonic River between Stratford and Milford. In the 13, were two gravid females with eggs. The problem, each pregnant female can drop 25 to 30,000 eggs. As they mature, they burrow into soft mud banks of the estuaries. The damage comes if you have too many crabs, they can turn the banks into jelly. That's why the Connecticut DEP is putting out an alert to fishermen and others. The young eat vegetation and they're not considered dangerous. If you see these unique looking crabs, contact the DEP. They cause a lot of erosion, I believe, um, and they can cause like riverbanks to collapse. The species is brownish orange to greenish brown in color. They have hairy, white tipped claws and a distinct notch between the eyes. And besides burrowing into the mud banks, they love to feed on fish eggs. And we're trying to restore sturgeon, Atlantic sturgeon, short nose sturgeon, salmon, trout. They'll feed on those eggs. Connecticut DEP marine biologist Dave Molnar says the mitten crab has been migrating east since it was first spotted in the Hudson in 2007. They mate, reproduce, lay eggs, and die, while their larvae begin the cycle upstream again in fresh water. They spend their, most of their life in fresh water. They mature, go out to sea. Friendly, huh? Now, if you want to learn more, we have a link. Just go to the Channel 3 app. Now, by the way, the Connecticut DEP is going to have an announcement tomorrow about another grant research program. It's for aquatic invasive species control. That's in ponds, rivers, and lakes. Live at the Mobile Newsman, Old Line, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.